Good morning. This is Lou Vanderwig, pastor of the Goodland United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me in this Christian devotion from Monday, November the 24th, 2014, as part of the Good Neighbor Hour. Psalm 100, verses 1 through 5 says, Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. The holiday of Thanksgiving is celebrated Thursday of this week. This is a time for reflecting on life and naming those things that we are thankful for. It is also a time to offer a response in our lives that reflects our thankfulness. Our response might be one of saying thank you. It might be one of sharing a portion of the blessings we are thankful for with someone else. Reflection on, acknowledgement of, and response to our blessings is an important part of being spiritually healthy. Luke 17 verses 11 through 19 tells us, on the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers approached him, keeping their distance. They called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him and he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, Were not ten made clean? But the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. As we ponder this well-known passage of Scripture, one can't help but ask the same question Jesus did. Why? Why did only one of the lepers return to thank Jesus? The easy answer is that he was a better person. I don't think that answer does justice to this account or to our own lives when we fail to give thanks to God. Maybe the other nine attributed their healing to something or someone other than Jesus. He told them to go to the priests and show themselves. Maybe when they got to the priests and showed themselves and they realized they were healed, they gave thanks to the priests. Even so, the healing started before they got to the priests. It says, as they went, they were made clean. Maybe only one saw that he was healed right away. Maybe the other nine were so excited about life without leprosy that they forgot to give thanks. The one that returned and gave thanks received another blessing. Not only was he healed of his leprosy, but Jesus tells him, Your faith has made you well. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the many blessings we realize in life. During this special week, help us to name our blessings and give thanks for them. May our thanksgiving continue throughout the year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On behalf of the Goodland United Methodist Church, this is Pastor Lou Vanderwig wishing you a good day filled with the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.